Good day everyone. Welcome to the ICCP Online Learning. Today, I will discuss to you the concept of credit. Let us start by defining what is credit. According to Thorsten Selim, in 1931, he defined crime as any form of conduct which is forbidden by the law under pain of some punishment. So according to sa kanya, ang crime daw po is any act which is pinagbabawal ng batas at mayroong maukulang parusa. So how are we going to categorize crime? So we have here the three general categories of crime. that is punishable by special laws, enacted by Congress, penal in character, which is not an amendment of the revised penal law. Ibig sabihin po, siya po ay special penal laws at nakapalog po sa kanya yung Republic Acts, Presidential Decrees, Executive Orders, Memorandum Circulars, Ordinances, and Rules and Regulations. On the other hand, when we talk about felony, it is an act or omission that is punishable under the revised penal code. Lahat po ng crimes na nakapaloob sa ating revised penal code, ang tawag po dyan ay felonies. Now, the third one, we have delinquency, misdemeanor, and infraction. So, these are acts that is in violation of a simple rule or regulation, a minor violation of the law. So it is usually refers to those committed by minor offenders such as violations of uh, city or municipal ordinances. So unlike offense and felony, ang delinquency, misdemeanor, and infraction po is minor offenses lamang po. Crimes are also generally classified into two. First one, we have violent crimes. And second one, we have economic crimes. So what is the difference between the two? So when we talk about violent crimes po, these are usually crimes against person. Ibig sabihin, it includes offenses where violence was applied. There is a harm. Okay? Merong harm na ginawa si offender doon kay offended party. Next one, economic crimes naman ay, are primarily committed to bring financial gain to the offender and usually they are crimes against property. So, ginagawa po yung mga ganitong crimen for them to gain. Okay? Si offender, meron siyang makukuha okay? kay offended party. Now, let us discuss about the legal classification we have according to the degree or severity of the offense. Gaano ba kalala yung ginawa niyang crime? First one, we have felonies. So, felonies po, these are acts and omissions punishable by law. Generally, a felony is a relative serious offense punishable by death, a fine, or confinement in a national prison for more than one year. Ibig sabihin po, kapag ang act or ang crime na nakomit mo, Okay, ang imprisonment po is more than one year. Kahit yan pa ay one year and one day, that is considered as felonies. On the other hand, when we talk about misdemeanors, they are minor offenses that are punishable by no more than a fine or one year imprisonment, typically in a local jail. Now, if the punishment of the crime you have committed is uh, less than one year or one year exactly, then you have committed misdemeanors. Next, we have according to the nature of the acts prohibited. So number one, we have mala in se. So when we say mala in se, okay, ang English translation po niyan is evil in itself. So they are crimes that are wrong in themselves. So initially, naturally, and from the very beginning, the act is wrong. So they are characterized by universality and timelessness. 
which means to say they are considered crimes everywhere and have been crimes at all times. Kahit sa ang lugar ka magpunta, kahit sa ang panahon ka magpunta, kapag ginawa mo po yung crime na yan or yung act na yan, that is wrong. Okay? So the very nature of the crime or the act is wrong. On the other hand, when we say mala prohibita, the English translation is wrong because it is prohibited or they are usually okay, crimes which is prohibited by law. They are offenses that are illegal because laws define them as such. Unlike mala inse po, okay, so sa mala prohibita, they are considered prohibited or they are considered as crimes because the law prohibit them. So, pero initially or naturally, they are not wrong. So, we have here examples, gambling and prostitution. So, sa mala prohibita po, dyan po nakapaloob yung mga offense. So, sa mala inse naman, okay, yan po yung felony. So, sinasaad ng ating RPC na ito ay mali. Okay, because the very nature of those acts is wrong. That is why they are considered mala inse. On the other hand naman, yung mga offenses naman po natin, or yung mga punishable ng special penal laws, kaya sila ginawan ng batas because sinasabi ni community na yun ay mali. Okay? But the nature is not that okay? bad. Or hindi naman siya ganun ka sama. So just like for example, the illegal possession of Naturally or initially, okay, ang pagkakaroon po ng firearm is hindi naman masama or mali. Okay? Unless, yun po ay merong license. So, kaya nga ang sinasabi ni Batas, yan ay prohibited kapag illegal. Okay? So, that is malaprohibita. So, usually po sa malaprohibita, mga offense po yan. Next, as to the manner crimes are committed. The first one, by means of dolo or deceit. So this is also called intentional felony. So it is when the act was done with deliberate intent, pinagplanuhan, premeditated, and yun talaga yung iyong intention. On the other hand, meron tayong by means of culpa or fault. So, this is culpable felony. Ibig sabihin, when the wrongful act results from imprudence or negligence. Hindi mo naman sinasadya, pero yun na yung naging resulta. Okay? So, under culpa or fault, meron po tayong imprudence and negligence. So, when we talk about imprudence, it indicates a deficiency of actions, usually involves lack of skill. Okay? So, hindi sapat yung skill mo para gawin yung isang bagay, that is why ang naging resulta is crime or pagkakamali. On the other hand, when we talk about negligence naman, it indicates a deficiency of perception or usually it involves the lack of foresight. Kapabayaan. Okay, dahil nagpabaya ka, kaya ka nakapag-commit ng wrongful. as to the stages in the commission of the crime. Okay? So, first one, attempted crimes. So, what is attempted crimes? So, it is when the offender commences the commission of the felony directly by overt acts and does not perform all the acts of execution which could produce the felony by reason of some causes or accident other than this spontaneous resistance. When we say attempted, ibig sabihin po is ay nakikita na yung intention mo. For example, ang gusto mong mangyari is patayin siya. Meron kang intent to kill that person. And ang naisip mo ng paraan para patayin siya is saksakin. So, kumuha ka na ng kuchilyo. Okay? Pero wala pang contact yung weapon doon sa biktima or magiging biktima mo. That is considered as attempted crimes. Nakikita na yung overt acts. Okay? Nakikita na yung intention mo na patayin ang isang tao. Okay? Pero, hindi mo pa siya nasasaksa. Which is, yun nga yung nakikita mong paraan para patayin yung isang tao. Okay? Ang sabi din dyan, 
ay hindi siya natuloy other than okay, his spontaneous decisions. So, pwedeng ang nangyari nung papatayin mo na siya or nung sasaksakin mo na siya is okay, nailaga niya or di kaya naman may dumating hindi mo na ituloy. Okay, so, when we talk about spontaneous resistance po, yan po yung ikaw mismo sa sarili mo yung pumigil okay, doon sa act na gagawin mo. Sabihin na natin na during the or in the course of the action or uh, dun po sa commission of the crime, okay, parang nagkaroon ka ng change of heart. So, hindi mo tinuloy yung pagsaksak. Okay, so, that is spontaneous resistance. Next, we have frustrated crimes. So, frustrated crimes is when the offender has performed all the acts of execution which will produce the felony as a consequence but which, nevertheless, do not produce the felony by reason of cause independent of the will of the perpetrator, which means to say, na-execute mo na okay, yung plan mo, nasaksak mo na yung biktima mo, pero dahil sa other reason, okay, ang nangyari is hindi siya namatay, which is yun yung intention mo possible na nung nasaksak mo siya, merong dumating na tao na isugod agad siya sa hospital. Okay? So that is frustrated crimes. Nagawa mo naman yung uh, iniisip mong gawin or nagawa mo naman yung lahat ng acts okay? para mamatay yung biktima mo pero hindi natuloy because of some reasons. Okay? Independent of your will. Hindi mo kagustuhan. Third one, we have consummated crimes. So when we talk about consummated crimes, it is when all the elements necessary for the execution and the accomplishment of the crime are present. Ibig sabihin, ang intention mo, patayin siya. Gusto mo siyang saksakin because yan yung nakikita mo paraan. Okay. So nung sinaksak mo siya, namatay siya, okay, natupad yung intention mo. That is consummated crime. we have asked to the plurality of crimes. So, first one, simple crimes. It is when a single act constitutes only one offense. Okay? Sinaksak mo, namatay, homicide. So, simple crimes. Complex crimes, on the other hand, is when a single act constitutes two or more grave felonies or when an offense is a necessary means for committing the other. Okay? So, usually, yan po yung then afterwards is papatayin. Those are complex crimes. Next, we have asked the gravity of penalty or offense. So first one, grave felonies. So those are which the law attaches, the capital punishment or afflictive penalties. So usually po, ang range po ng imprisonment niyan is from 6 years and 1 day to reclusion perpetua or life in prison. Second one po, we have less grave felonies. So those which the law punishes the penalties which are correctional in nature. So usually yan po yung correctional penalties and ang range po yan yan is 1 month and 1 day to 6 years. And last but not the least, we have light felonies. So those infractions of law for the commission of which the penalty of arrest to minor or a fine not exceeding 200 pesos or both is imposed. Okay? So usually po, ito po ay mga uh, light offenses na and ang range po ng kanyang imprisonment is from 1 day to 30 days lang po. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.